And so when we are designing, we need to see what kind of value structure it has, the environment. And if, if, if that environment is more towards dark than light, or it is more towards light than dark, we need to see all that. And we need to clearly divide our environment into at least three distinct value structure, which is dark, medium, and light. The other thing with that is keeping the environment 50% in 50% the light and 50% in the dark is not a great choice because it creates a symmetry, visual symmetry. Symmetrical things are not that easy to control. So we will stick to asymmetrical compositions in our visual understanding. When we are designing things, we need to make it visually asymmetrical. So two thirds of it should be in the dark and one third in the light, or two third in the light, one third in the dark is the best way to go. Also notice that if the complete white is uh, one and the uh, extreme um, black is 10, then what you need to do is put your value structure under, under this, this box, under this rectangle. Okay, so avoid using extreme white and extreme black. So start from two and maybe eight and nine and avoid the complete extreme black and white because extreme black and extreme white, they call for attraction and they mess with, with the focal point. All right, so, so try to avoid that. I almost never use extreme white and extreme black anywhere because even if you are painting a very bright scene, you you will you will not need normally uh, the extreme white. All right, so here are some of the images we have, and let's take a look at those and study what kind of lighting structure they have. So the, the first image is is extremely dark and this is my own artwork and in cinematography we refer to light lighting conditions and we refer to them as keys okay so the dark scene is low key the brightest scene is high key and then there is high contrast and full range and things like that so the first image is is extremely dark and except for this part except for this brightest part everything else the brights and the darks they all come into the dark side of the value scale so this is dependent on our choice of values is dependent on the story that we are trying to illustrate through our paintings and even in the movies the the kind of story that the director wants to achieve the director uses the lighting conditions to evoke the particular emotion so if there is a need for the dark scene where there is darkness and there is very less amount of light so the value structure we will have, it will be grouped together and it will belong to the dark side of the, everything will be in the dark side of the value scale. Even the light, lighter areas will be in the darker side of the uh, value scale. In the next one, this is, this is referred to as high key lighting condition. And as you can see that the value groupings belong to the brighter side of the value scale and is referred to as high key lighting condition where the darks are not that extreme dark but it's still they are on the lighter side of the value scale and the next one is is a mid range in the in the mid range the lighting conditions we have there is no brightest bright and darkest dark 
everything is in the middle of the value scale. The next one is called full range lighting condition. And in this kind of lighting condition, the whole value scale is used. And even though the whole value scale is used, it is still fairly towards the darker side. As I mentioned before, that two third in the dark side and one third in the bright side. So even though the whole value scale is used, but the scene is not visually divided into 50-50, that 50% in dark and 50% in light. So we need to choose according to our story, according to our scenario, that, that what kind of value structure it should lean towards. Should it lean towards darker side or to the brighter side, even though it is a full range value structure. The next one is high contrast. In the high contrast, the extreme darks and extreme brights are used. And this kind of lighting condition is, is not used much, but it suggests danger and extreme heats in the story. So yeah, that was the example of lighting and values.